Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to talk about wireless bridge mode. Wireless bridge mode is a networking feature that is built into a Wi-Fi router which is used to connect two local area networks together wirelessly. This feature uses the router's Wi-Fi signal to connect to another router's Wi-Fi signal to bridge the two networks together. Let's take an example for a better understanding. Let's suppose you have a network in your home and it has devices such as computer, laptop, server and a Wi-Fi router which is connected to the internet and you call it your primary network. Now let's suppose there is another network in your guest house across the road. This network also has a computer, laptop and a Wi-Fi router but there is no internet connection. This is your secondary network. These two networks are in two different locations and you want to connect them together to form one network so that all the devices in both networks could directly talk to each other and devices in the secondary network could also access server resources. Now this can be done by using a wireless bridge. Setting up a wireless bridge is the most efficient way to connect these two networks into one local area network. This is how it works. First of all, you need to have two Wi-Fi routers. Routers that we are going to use for this video are SOHO, also known as small office, home office routers. The speciality of such routers is that they not only broadcast Wi-Fi signal, but they do have a built-in switch so that wired devices can also be connected by using an Ethernet cable. So these two networks must have one of these routers. Now here is an important point to understand. Primary network router doesn't require any configuration to set up a wireless bridge. However, the router in the secondary network does need a configuration. So what you need to do is log into the router admin page and look for the wireless bridge mode in the router settings. When you find it, you will see these options. From here you need to choose the wireless bridge mode and then select it. It will ask you to enter the Wi-Fi name and password of your primary network router that you are going to connect with. Once it is done, now the secondary network router will wirelessly be connected to the primary network router. These two networks are now bridged together and become one local area network. So now these are not two networks anymore, which means all the devices in both networks can directly talk to each other and devices in the secondary network can also access server resources. Now here is an important point to remember. Router in the secondary network is not acting as a router. In fact, this router is acting as a wireless bridge to connect both networks. And since this router is not acting as a router, its features like firewall, network address translation and DHCP are also disabled. So this router cannot assign IP addresses. However, the router in the primary network is responsible for assigning IP addresses to all the devices. Ok now there is one more way to connect these two networks together and this can be done by using a cable. So first of all you have to connect both routers together using a cable by plugging it into each routers ethernet port. After that log into the routers admin panel and navigate to the router settings as we did before. Now click on the bridge mode and enable it. That's it. Now both networks are connected by using a cable. All the devices can communicate with each other. They can share files, data and so on. Now keep in mind when we enable bridge mode or wireless bridge mode on a router, it turns off its gateway function. This means that primary router acts as a boss and handles all the network traffic including assigning IP addresses and handling DNS requests. Secondary router will simply pass network traffic through to the primary router without performing any of these functions. Ok now here is one more thing which is worth mentioning. In some routers when wireless bridge mode is enabled, they only pass on the network traffic to wired devices that are connected using the router switch. So for instance, these devices are connected to the router using an Ethernet cable. Here we have a TP-Link router. When wireless bridge mode is enabled, it only sends network traffic to wired devices. But some routers have the ability to perform both functions 
Such routers not only pass network traffic to wired devices, but they also broadcast Wi-Fi signals so that wireless devices can connect to it. For example, this laptop is wirelessly connected to this router's Wi-Fi signal. Here we have a link says router. This router performs both functions. It passes the network traffic to wired devices and at the same time broadcasts wireless signals so that Wi-Fi devices can connect to it and join the network. Alright, so this was all about wireless bridge mode. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos and I will catch you in the next video.